Wow, I haven't picked up the camera in a while. Hello, um, we've been in Sharnagatsi for the last three weeks, just being, working, um, getting involved in the community. We visited three different families um, and lived with them and saw how their off-grid setup was a little bit different and kind of figuring out what we want for ourselves. Today, we are heading back to the city and to be quite honest, I am anticipating it because we have been living such a low stimulating lifestyle. Not that we haven't been working hard, but we've been living such a low stimulating lifestyle um, in flavors and food, um, just in the activities that we're doing, the interactions with people, like it's been slow, it's been gentle. So, yeah, this new chapter begins. Jeremy and I are heading to Vancouver Island. We both signed up to a program at school at Camosun College. We do not know if we got accepted yet. We are in the pending stage. But until then, until we know any more details about those programs, we are going to be exploring the rest of Canada <laughs> and Vancouver Island is a sweet space a very special place for me it is where I was born and it's just going to be one nostalgic week and I can't wait to show you guys that's basically just earth earth, earth that's filtered and uh, you make a donut shape and then what? Uh, mass heater. Mass heater. Two loads. Of... Yeah. Yep. You want to explain what you're doing? Okay, so we have clay from the about 500 meters away from here, <laughs> and we're filling in the cracks of these bricks. Because we're making a what's it called again? Rocket mass heater. <laughs> Rocket mass heater. Yeah. And it's ninety percent efficient instead of twenty percent efficient mm -hmm. for a, a yeah. st if, wood stove. If you're lucky, you get twenty percent efficiency <laughs> of a wood stove. So that's the old paradigm. We left it behind. Okay, so now, now check out the steam. Out this is the steam that comes out. It's not sparks. That's so cool. <laughs> Sticks here, you feed down into this way. And so then they're standing up and then they're slowly gravity feeding down. <laughs> this is all stage. All of this is stage. Wow, what a beautiful valley. Very grateful. We'll be back next summer. Ooh. I just got the news that the program that I signed up for actually has a waiting list until next year. So there's an automatic response of just panic and worrying and just trying to figure another plan out. But in reality, like this is probably a blessing in disguise and there's probably something even better that I'm not aware of that is there for me. We are spending the night in Chilliwack. We're gonna go to Anytime Fitness. We're gonna go do a quick workout, take a shower, and then hit the hay. Hit the hay. Good morning! <clears throat> Good morning. We slept in a gas station last night. And there's a crazy train that passed a few times. And I thought that the train was driving into the van. So I woke up petrified. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we're going to Torrens to pee. And I think today is going to be a chilling in a, in a park day. Yeah. Let's, I'll keep you posted. We're taking a moment to just soak up 
nature and soak up our own spiritual practice and just allowing ourselves to be because we feel a little bit lost. I know I do a little bit. I feel a little bit lost. I'm not too sure where I'm heading. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing <laughs> a week from now. And it's always been hard for me to not really know where I'm heading. But I know that God, the universe, has an even better plan for me. So, I'm just allowing myself to be today and opening myself up to any messages, any signs <laughs> that are telling me what my next step are my what my next step is because I need a little bit of guidance right now we made it to Langley BC um, I'm gonna cook up some progies because who knew that the only vegan progies are sold only in BC so I've been enjoying that quite a bit because progies are actually my favorite This is where we're setting up for the night. We're gonna watch the sunset. We went for a quick dip in the salty water. And we will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today we are exploring Vancouver. We took it a little bit more easy yesterday to fill up our batteries so that we have enough energy for today. Did it work? Jared, do you have enough energy for today? Okay, we finished our day in Vancouver. We are now heading to the Iskon Temple for Krishna's birthday. Mm -hmm. And then we have a sweet friend that is letting us park at their house today, tonight. And tomorrow morning we are catching an early, early, early ferry to, drumroll please, Vancouver Island. It is 5 a.m. Jeremy is still sleeping because we've only had four hours of sleep. I'm going to drive us to the ferry. The 6 a.m. ferry got cancelled. The 7 a.m. ferry got cancelled. The 8 a.m. ferry got cancelled. So we're hoping that we can get on the 9 a.m. ferry. But they are prioritizing other people over us. So who knows? We might stay at this ferry 
docking station for the entire day. We're gonna go back to bed because we're tired. <laughs> um, but we'll keep you guys posted. We're on a boat. After I don't know how many long days on the road, we are finally in Vancouver Island. Fresh start of our new life. We're gonna set something new, set something strong, and we'll see where life takes us, honestly. While I clean up, I wanted to speak to you guys about just how good it feels to be back on Vancouver Island and Victoria more specifically. Um, I really missed it, but I don't, I didn't remember why. Like, I didn't know why I missed it so much. And then being back here, I'm like, okay, yes, I remember. Like, the pace of life is so much slower. And the way that just the people's energy, like, is so much calmer. And there's so much nature, nature that is so accessible. <sighs> like, we just slept next to, in the Esquimalt Lagoon, and I was expecting us to kind of, someone knock at our door because, like, usually people don't sleep there and, like, you're not allowed to. But no one did. And so we woke up with such a beautiful view. And... I went for a swim this morning and it woke me right up and it made me feel so alive. And seeing my family, my real family, <laughs> what feels like my real family yesterday um, after seven years of not seeing them feels so good. Feel my root chakra just feeling so good and I knew that this is what I needed after being on the road for 45 days I think 50 days finally being back and being able to slow down and anchor myself into this present moment not feeling rushed not feeling stressed like it feels like such a relief it makes me want to cry <laughs> Um, I just really needed this. So we're discovering what life on Vancouver Island is like. We're discovering what it is like to live in our van here. And so far it's been really good. So far it's been full of nature. And as we're discovering Vancouver Island, we're also discovering what we want to do with our lives. <laughs> what do we want to do with our next chapter in our life? Um, yeah, I just feel really grateful for this platform to be able to document this, to be able to have you guys follow this journey. I feel really grateful and I feel really loved and supported. So thank you so much. And... I think this is going to be the end of the video for this week. <laughs> We're just going to take the time to be present for the next few days, explore what beauty there is, and we'll see you back next week for a road trip across the entire island with my brother and his girlfriend. <laughs>